guys, how's it going? My name is Mole HD. Now you may notice a difference to my voice. That is because I have my new Turtle Beach X12 headset on. It's a lovely headset. Definitely recommend it. I'd give it a nine out of ten. Um, basically, when you first get it, the head, like the mic, is really stiff, which is really nice. But later on, it gets like less stiff. Well, like a few days later, it because it's just brand new, it will just become less stiff. But that's just because you're wearing it in like kind of it's like when you buy a new pair of shoes yeah they're gonna be stiff for like a few days and then it's gonna like slip on nicely and things <coughs> slip on I'm sorry so yes guys today we're on the redstone handbook and yes um I don't even have my book out well oh no please no no please no 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 please right what page are we on she let's try and find out I ain't even opened it up Fuck. Uh yeah. Uh right. And today we are on page twenty eight Minecraft Stations. Um these are really cool. Um if you look there, there's a wall there and I'll show you that in a minute. But now uh basically what the book says is that everybody used to use horses. No, that's the other way around. Everybody used to use minecarts. They were a common like use of transportation. Uh before you had Horses and yeah, um, oh, I got a bit of my mic. Two seconds, there we go. Sorry, um, uh, still a popular mode of transport, people still use them. Uh, I'll show you some things you can do with them later on. Um, but yeah, this is a minecart station, so let's get straight into it. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use regular ball and I am gonna start making it. So, what you want to do is build a three by two wall like this, you then want to add one two one two one two one two you want to add four blocks this way at the same height now what you want to do is this is just a basic shape for the basic one in a book you can make this as wild as you want to be honest this is just the basic one you then want to do this um, here is going to be steps and there's going to be the rails there so you're going to go up here onto the rails uh, this that's just for aesthetics. You could just click on the ray, um, minecart and go into it. You then want to place block here. So this is your basic shape, and you want to add like a T, so it looks like a T there. So now you've got the basic shape. You've got the shape of it. Uh, you may just want to extend it just for extra rails, just for appearance. Um, but that's the basic shape. That is all the shape done. You do not probably need the blocks no more. Um, but I'm gonna keep them just in case I break some. Now what you want to do with the rails is you're gonna place three powered rails like that. Then you're gonna get your regular rails and place them like that. Now it doesn't matter if it goes to that one or that one, it doesn't matter. Now you want a button and you wanna put it there. That'll activate the powered rails. Um so that's what you should have. That is three blocks that way. So one, no, four, four, and then three that way. Right now, what you want to do with the lever is place it right here. You want to come underneath your model. I've just broken extra one, that's why I was keeping the box. And you want to bring the redstone, redstone dust, and bring it. Um, two seconds. Uh, I'm gonna just build a trench so you can see it better. You want to come right up to here with the redstone. You want to leave this one like that. So directly, so here where the regular rails start, you want to place that block where the redstone is. Then you want to come under here, uh, jump down and you want to put the redstone torch on the wall so then it connects up to the redstone there this then powers this it sends a pulse up through that block therefore putting it into that block now with the trigger if you look at the rail it's facing left now or the lever sorry if you flip the lever it will turn to the right so if we get a minecart out this is basically it done. So you put a minecart there, press the button, 
and you're going to go right. Say, so if you want to go left, press the button, get in your minecart, and press it. Okay, that's really loud, and I don't like it. It's really loud, so I'm going to turn down my volume actually because I don't really need it. Now, I'll be right back, guys, where I'll show you um, my version of the minecart station and just show you some more about uh, what you might need to know about rails and things like that because this is the main bit about rails and track or oh, yeah rails and minecarts in this uh, book so I'll be right back guys where I'll show you the next hey guys bit. I'm back and now this is my edited version um, I've had some more aesthetics to it with the bricks let's just break that there we go I'm gonna go F1 mode because it's just free now what you can do is oh I need to block this off two seconds um, and I need to turn up my volume again. Music volume. Uh, blocks. I want to turn every other one down apart from that one. Now, if you get a minecart, place it down. Press the button, and that didn't work. Why does that work? Now, you may have heard that that had a very bassy sound. That was because it is on a stone material. Now, if it's on air, and you press it, it'll do it. That's a bit out of tune, but oh wow. <laughs> now, I'm going to show you some stuff about minecart and minecart rails and things. Now, I like this. It's kind of cool. Uh, you can muck around. You can have more rails. So you could have another one here. So one here one here and it can go off in different directions uh, the only thing with the, what you would want to do is just have them all going in one direction coming out <coughs> so you want to use the like transfer um, my voice sounds really croaky sorry um, I think it's just a headset that makes it sound croaky or do I sound, actually sound croaky? I do <coughs> I don't know why I sound croaky my voice might be breaking I don't know but oh well right guys now let's talk about no blocks now down there you notice that if it's on stone it does not work it ends up with a bassy sound and it just doesn't sound nice now what you want to do is I'm gonna do that um, I wanna turn up uh, no not that um, what how can I do this and you heard that, that's with no, um, nothing else on it. Oh, there we go. That's with, um, just air beneath that. This is with, two seconds, let's move that. And I just gave away the next bit. Um, um, this is with stone. So, sandstone, brick, and any material similar to that will give off a bassy sound and it just, it's not nice. But, uh, dirt, because, you know, dirt is kind of mostly air, it's got oxygen in it, in real life, like the earth has got oxygen, it's got gaps in it, in it, in it, in it, in it, in it, yeah, blood. whereas ice, if you tap it, it's similar to air, it's exactly the same, uh, that's because, I think, it's more of a hollow block, because it's transparent, it's more classed as a lesser solid block. Now, the next thing is that you can spa also spawn in command blocks in a minecart. Uh, so say you wanted something to go off at a certain time, you could have the certain amount of powered rails, somebody would go over a pressure plate, and then all of a sudden, a bit later, instead of using repeaters and things, uh, something would set off with a command block. Uh, which is just another creative way of doing things. Um, or if you just wanted to make it look really cool. Um, now that's just gone off the edge. Um, so let's just push that in. Come on, there we go. And as you saw, that went over that rail, and it gave me a Minecraft command block. Now the command I put in was backslash give at p, which is at the nearest player, four two two. Um, that is the command for the minecart command blocks. If you want, needed to know that. Now this that's, that's what it rail. does with the TNT. Obviously, it set it off. But I do not want to do that. So I think that's the main ones. I think it can do it with hoppers as well. 
So say if I had uh, placed a block there, got a powered rail, oh no, an activated rail, sorry. Uh, also the recipe will be around screen, or if it isn't already. Uh, so say I placed that there, uh, no, one second. Say if I placed that there to activate that, and I might, would this work if I had a chest underneath? I'm wondering if this would work. Two seconds, guys. Let's just sort this out to see if this works. Um, place that chest under that. Put a hopper on. Put that on. And then if we go into the chest. Oh, no, because this chest won't be able to open. No, that didn't work. But basically, yeah, with the TNT and the command box, it works. Now, the next one is that also, if you want to hide, uh, like, powers rails you can put them underneath and it won't because it goes through the block um, now the next one is the let's just tidy this up now the next one is a oh, let's get a problem I got actually uh, my cut there we go now the next one is called a I'll go get it it is called a detector rail now this detects your minecart and will set redstone off so if I go across here it lets me. There we go. Why didn't what? Two seconds. What? Why didn't I work? Why didn't it work? <coughs> Unless it only activates two seconds. Um, get some redstone. I've already got some. Du -du -du -du. Uh, now if I go across. Yeah. All right. So basically, it doesn't activate it through blocks. If it does it activate over the top, let's have a look. Um, let's see if it activates through the top. Let's put that there. No, I don't think it does activate through the top, or does it? Uh, let's place some redstone there. Um. No, it doesn't activate through it, that. Um, but basically, it only activates it going to the side. So if I push this... Oh, for the night, the amount of my cards. Eh! So, so I push that, it activated it. And it activated the activator rail. Um, so yeah, that's all the minecarts. Uh, next episode, we're doing a flip-flop, I think. Um, that's next in pages. Uh, let's have a bit of cherry spurs at the um, So also, you can just play around with it. Um, with the minecart station and use all those rails and shit you know and the ding dong um, now next, ep next episode is going to be a combination of like three little um, small contraptions it's going to be the pulse shortener the toggle flip flop which all sound really weird and what's that one a clock circuit now one second. There's one here that sounds actually. Which is like a real life circuit. Two seconds. Let's find this one. Yeah. So the, the pulse shortener or mono stable circuit. So that's ideal electronics for a GCSE. And a mono stable is actually a real life like electronics term thing. A mono stable circuit. Um, so it's quite good that. You know, it's very similar to actual electronics. Uh, that's why it's quite cool. That's why I like redstone. Redstone is just an endless thing you can do with it, especially with command blocks. So, <coughs> just choking now on my own liquids. Giggity. Um So, yes, guys, hope you enjoyed. And next episode, look forward to them. Uh, if you haven't seen the rest of my series, there's a playlist um, on my channel. So, just go to my channel page and uh, check out the playlist uh, there's also some other ones go check them out go check out my other videos also subscribe if you enjoy this and want to keep up on any new things also if you want me to help you with anything or you want me to suggest something or you've suggested something to me and you want me to do it I'm more than happy to just leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment uh, saying what you want me to do obviously and subscribe so you can just keep caught up on when I've done it. 
So, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next episode. See you later, guys. Bye, Mars. Yeah, bye, Mars. Right. <laughs>